A lot of you guys have been asking, do I carry the Ruger GP100 every day or why don't I carry a Block 19 like all the other operators? Well, while I wouldn't hesitate to recommend the Ruger GP100 and it's a great revolver and it's something I do carry sometimes in the afternoons when I go out, the truth of the matter is in the last few months what I've been carrying is the old Smith & Wesson CS45. This is clear, and this is a weapon that Smith & Wesson discontinued 14 years ago. So, you might wonder, why would I carry something like this? Something that only has a 6 plus 1 capacity in the incredibly outdated DASA traditional double action form with a safety decocker. Well, the truth of the matter is is that I have an older friend who had this very mint pistol sitting in a drawer for the last 14, 15 years and um, said, hey, I said, that's pretty cool. And he said, well, what do I do with it? I said, well, maybe you could update it for modern carry. So the point of the video is just because something is old doesn't mean it's still not valid, just like myself. It still has power. It may be a little short and fat, but... That looks pretty strong to me, doesn't it to you? So, while that is low on capacity to me, my friend said, tell you what, why don't you take it, borrow it for a few months? Because I said, I'm interested in getting into double action uh, pistols. And I'm even considering changing from hip carry, like I'm doing here with the Safari Land holster that they still luckily make for this rare old Smith & Wesson CS45 and something I could feel safer as I transition into appendix carry like I'm doing here with this relentless tactical holster. So, you know, there's other viable stuff out there, but could something like a single stack 45 still make it work? Well, yeah, with a few adjustments. I very much will show you what some of those adjustments are in my full review video. Something like, well, let's toss that six round magazine. If only we could figure out a way to make an eight rounder function. Well, I figured out that way. It's taken a little bit of testing and a few trips to the range, but now that it's functioned so well, so much different ammo and five different types of hollow points, I feel comfortable carrying this appendix eight plus one. Or what if I carry it on the hip? Well, then I can toss 10 rounders that I have function tested in it and got these working appropriately with Wolf Plus 10 power springs and I can carry it on the hip. Or, I can, you know, 8 plus 1 in the gun, 10 in the backup. And as you guys know, I always carry a backup pistol of some sort, big and or small pocket gun. So, guys... No matter what, a lot of people carry and they don't necessarily have a particular attachment to their firearm. But after you've been shooting your whole life, something like black or green plastic can get pretty boring. But there's not quite the emotional attachment. And quite frankly, stainless steel with some nice etching and they just don't do that kind of stuff anymore. On top of a nice aluminum frame, this is just under 24 ounces. It's something easy to carry, and now with 8 plus 1 or 10 plus 1 capacity, or 9 in the gun and a 10 round backup mag in the back pocket, can get me what I need. And it's fun. And if it's fun, you're going to go to the range more. And if you go to the range more, you're training more. If you're training more, if in the rare case you have to do a defensive gun use, I've already had, you know, I'm averaging one a year at this point, a defensive display. So yeah, crime's really bad and you're going to have to in your lifetime probably. But if you actually have to fire one day, your skills will be higher because you're going to the range more often. I personally like having that affinity and I like doing my older friend a solid and updating it with night sights and function testing with mags and we kind of worked out a deal. And meanwhile, it's letting me carry something and train with something as I go to appendix carry. So guys, keep an open mind and some of these old dogs still have some pretty good tricks. Thank you. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe.